Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be taking you through L'Hopital's theory. L'Hopital's rule is a general rule and its application of sequential fields used to handle indeterminate image forms. In our previous lessons, we've handled L'Hopital's rule 1 and 2, so we move on with rule 3. Now, the reason why we have several rules is just that we have different indeterminate image forms, right? But the general rule of the Lupita is simply saying that you are going to differentiate. So let's say f prime of x over g prime of x limits as s approaches a. So this is generally the Lupita rule. The rule is saying is the rule is saying that when you are able to express two functions as a product and you want to find a limit at certain point, provided the g prime of x is not zero, then you have to just differentiate the numerator separately. Then you differentiate the denominator also separately. Then you put your limit function inside. That is all. And that summarizes the Lupita's rule. But there are different cases or different scenarios of indeterminate limit forms. So in the first rule, we realize that we have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. In the second rule, we had in the second rule we had 0 times or infinity. So what about this rule? And in this rule, we are going to handle difference okay we are going to handle difference or you can say addition because you know addition and subtraction are the same just with the signs okay they are having the same effects so now let's see something here if i have limits of a function f minus g as x approaches a so this is when you are having two functions which are subtracting or the difference between them now let's see the indeterminate scenario of this one. I, I may ask, when I have infinity minus infinity, what do I get? Somebody will say zero. You'll be tempted to say zero. Now, remember this infinity can be of different value. This infinity can also be of different value. This can be as high as let's say three billion. This can also be as high as only two thousand or seven thousand. So these two can give us variety of solutions. Somebody can say the answer is just three. Yes, the person is right. Somebody can also say the answer is 10. Somebody say the answer is billion because if you take this to be billion, this will be billion, the differences can be as few as all possible. So, meaning once you have such indeterminate form, how do we express it in a nice way to apply the L'Hopital's rule? So, generally, L'Hopital's rule is going in for quotient form, meaning that our two functions which are subtracting should be expressed in our quotient form. Then we apply our derivative. That is all about. So let's see a problem and solve. Now, evaluate the expression limit as x approaches pi on 2 of the expression set x minus tan x. So this is a nice problem here to help us understand the rule to it. So limit as x approaches pi on 2 of set x minus tan x. Now these are two separate functions. But the rule is saying that you should express this as a quotient, then you apply the L'Hopital rule. So to do that, what is sec x? When you say sec x, sec x is simply 1 over cos. Now, 1 over cos x. Normally, we tempted to say that 1 over cos is cosec because cosec. No. So if you want to remember, just have in mind that 1 over cos, instead of that, it should have been cosec, should be sec x. Okay. So 1 over cos is sec x, then minus the expression. Now, when you have tan x, you know tan x is the same as sine x over what? Cos x, right? So, I can further simplify this and I'll get cos x minus sine x all over cos x all three. Is that not it? Yes. So, once I have this here, once I have this expression, then I am almost true. But see something. I made some nice error here. Remember, we have the same denominator. Yes, I forgot. We need to use the LCF. Yes. So they have the same denominator. So we simply take out the difference of the numerators. So because x minus sine x, that's I did. Let me reverse everything here. So simply, this gives me what? Since I have the same denominator, I'll have 1 minus sine x. All over what cos x. That's all. I only take one. That's all. These are basic arithmetic, and you can easily get them. 
around. So x approaches pi on 2 of this expression. Applying my L'Hopital's rule, all I have to do is I'll differentiate this whole expression as 1 and I'll differentiate this also as 1. When I differentiate the first expression, you realize that the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of sine x cos x. But there is some negative here. So that's going to give me what? Negative cos x over when you have sine cos x, when I differentiate cos x, I get negative sine x. Is that not it? Obviously, this will cancel this, and I'm going to get cos x over sine x. Now, limits as x approaches pi on 2 of the expression, which is cosine of x over sine of x. So, what do I get? What is cos 90? So I have cosine of pi on 2 over sine of what? Pi on 2. Cos 90 is 0 over sine 90 is 1. And this obviously gives me what? Zero. So this is how we simplify difference which falls under the rule 3. Thank you. See you in the next section for the rule 4.